What about you, Lonnie? How was your week this week? Uh, I've been good. Uh, yeah, been having a great time here. Appreciate you guys having me as a guest on the show. Yeah, we're probably going to burn that mic uh, yes. after today. You can notice that Lonnie's voice is a bit gross. I'm uh, overcoming a sickness, and I have the sick voice. So, yeah. What do you think it is? Uh, Put in foot and mouth disease yeah he's been yeah. putting his yeah, foot in I his don't mouth know. disease i don't know it just it just came up but uh do you have rickets i'm already feeling better than i was yesterday <laughs> yes he has the, he has rickets he has the gout legionnaires disease. yeah actually. oh legionnaires <laughs> disease we were saying yesterday i sound i sound a little like andy yeah and when you come back to the show we're gonna have you in full iron lung situation just your little head sticking out <laughs> yeah it'd be great yeah let's do it yeah you do sound a bit more like me yeah, we do sort of sound the same. We were somewhere yesterday, and uh, I we were at a we were at a, a vintage store, and I was going through. You know, they sometimes they'll have those like buckets of pins and stuff. We were looking at different things, and uh, Juliet was on one side of the store, and I was on the other side with Lonnie. And I said to Lonnie, "Will you watch these? Because these are the ones I picked out. I'm going to go upstairs in the store and check it out." And then uh, I, what did the lady say to you? Yeah, so I was watching your stuff, and then the girl at the counter was like. To me, she's like, hey, do you want me to put these pins over and hold them with your wife's stuff? Implying that I was Juliet's wife because she thought nope, it was nope, you. No, that wasn't what they were implying. No. That Juliet was your wife. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. She, they were uh, not was, implying that you were Juliet's wife. So you left and she and I came in and she didn't notice. She thought I was you. Yes. So yes. That was kind of funny. Yeah. So, you know, highlight of the day, really. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it was the voice or... The, the tattoos but that's what you say i i was just like i don't know that's a different guy <laughs> so, i was just straight up i didn't i didn't want to like sugarcoat it I was can like, i just point out can i point out right now a quick uh bengals fact andy dalton had 22 yards passing in the first half of this game which is a career low so i just mm. wanted everybody to know that uh yeah so that you know it's nice that you were honest with the lady and said that's a different guy yeah i feel like normally i would have just been like I would have just been like, oh, yeah, and just went with it. But for some reason in that moment... You're just, feeling particularly honest. I just felt like being like, no, that was somebody else. She needs to know. Yeah. You need to tell the truth So sometimes. then you just continued to stare at the, the pins? Yeah. Uh, that was it. She she felt really bad, and she kind of turned around, and she was like, oh, I'm sorry, and walked away. But you didn't you, rub you it in after that. You made her feel bad? I mean, it was an honest I, mistake, I guess right? she felt bad, but then I, you know, I just ha- I held my post, and I kept watching your stuff Here's the you. thing. I was wearing a hat... And we are different looking people. I have significantly different tattoos. Our face is different. Your hair is significantly different to mine. Mm. Yeah. But she with the hat on, she it, might have thought that he had a hat on earlier. No. Maybe but she I, thought I took that. You took that. We had the hat to- off. totally different shirts on, sleeves, the whole thing. It wasn't like. it. Look. I understand that it's cute here that she thought that you look like me, but I'm a little I'm a little off put by how her lack of be like her lack of ability to perceive who is in front of her. Yeah, it doesn't bode well for their their like the thievery that may happen in that store. That she anyone that is dressed even similarly is the same person. Yeah, like just because we have the same color hair. And yeah, we should have gotten mad at her. I mean, we do have the same voice right now. Well, it sounds like he did get mad. Yeah. She said he was, he was, she was he very made her feel apologetic. very bad about yeah. herself, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe and by I the way, Lonnie, I don't mind that if people thought that we look, you're, you're a good friend of mine. I like you quite a bit. There's certainly worse things that could happen. Thanks. I'm not I feel like, the upset same about way. that. Yeah, I'm, you're a good saying, guy. I'm saying that I'm upset. <laughs> I'm, I'm upset <laughs> that with the lack of perception that was going on around there. Yeah. But how could she have known that you were the husband well she said first thing i did when i walked in i said i'm andy this is my wife juliet <laughs> yeah we will be shopping at your establishments together and i didn't mention lonnie <laughs> i think she said wife or girlfriend so she didn't wow know. Now things you guys are married hold on she, wait yeah she said she said do you want me to put this, this person on the phone yeah like, do you want me to put this right stuff now. over with your wife, wife and girlfriend, or girlfriend for girlfriend's stuff yeah she said wife or girlfriend. Yeah, that's what she said. So Why is she making the jump on this? She didn't know if Juliet was your Interesting wife. Interesting that she started with wife or, your girlfriend. or girlfriend. I would have gone girlfriend. But also... Significant other, friend. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why is, she, mm-hmm. uh, she, why is she inferring the romantic relationship? Were you guys holding hands or something at this point? No. <laughs> I don't know why she thought yeah. Lonnie no. would be at the store with his wife and his girlfriend. Yeah, it's time. too many people to have there. It's, it's Look, be... I can tell you got your hands full. His wife <laughs> yeah. and... You got Do you want this for your wife or your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a weird... Do you want me to put these aside for your wife or for your girlfriend? 
it was a weird experience. I feel like everywhere we go is a is a weird experience. Yeah, man, that's my whole life. Like we don't have to get into it, but like the car battery thing the other day. Yeah, and just like just getting smooth. We just, like that? everywhere we well, go. Yeah, we went to we went to get happens. a uh, car battery replacement, and uh, <laughs> we, you know we went to one place and they didn't have the correct one or whatever else, and uh, we called the second place that they had suggested. They said they did. We drove over there, and uh, after a minute or two of talking, the guy said, "Look." You need a battery that uh, connects on the left side, and the one that you're asking for connects on the right. And I said, well, look, I don't know what I'm asking for. I was This was written down for me by the previous place. This is all the information I the, have. This is the one that I need. And he yeah, goes, well, that one, he goes, well we don't place. have that one that you're asking for. I said, okay. He goes, and besides which, that connects on the right. You need one that connects on the left. I said, okay. Sympathize with me here. I don't know shit about shit. But you're saying that I need one that connects on the left, and you're telling me I, you don't have one that connects on the right. Do you have one that connects on the left? He goes, yeah. I said, well, can we do that one? He goes, well, but it's not the one you're asking for. I said, look, <laughs> yeah. I just need to fucking make sure this car keeps going. That guy was trying to keep you in there all day. Yeah. No, the opposite. He was trying to get me to leave. It's the weirdest thing. When have you ever had a situation where a mechanic was trying to undersell himself? On going like I was saying, look, I will buy the other battery that connects on the left. He's like, well, you know, man, it's it's just it's a different thing. It's like Energizer or Duracell, and to me, there is no difference. Like, again, batteries. there isn't. Those are those two are different batteries. brands. I like, said, is this a brand issue? Yeah, you and I looked at him like, what? Technical <laughs> technical people do that a lot, and like I've seen it obviously working in post production a lot. There's a lot of technical things going on, but a lot of people that know a lot technically, they like to lord that over people. And make them do like a little tap dance while they yeah. learn in front of them what the difference instead of just being like forthcoming and explaining what's going on. Well, yeah. it was weird because like the first store was like, no, we don't have that, but this other store has it. So we went all the way across town to the second store, and then he told us this Energizer Duracell thing, and we just had no idea what was going on. So your car is now dead. We no, got so, the, so look. we got the Duracell and the car we, works. Yeah, fine. we didn't. It's not a Duracell, but we. Uh, <laughs> well, so I, I just a bunch of triple A's. In a pile. Lonnie likes just to bury the rest the of the story before I can tell it. <laughs> so we got the Duracell, and that's the end of the story. Like there was more that I was gonna say, but fuck, now I can't go back because you just buried it. I, I don't know if I want to relive the experience. But All right, go well ahead. I'm gonna finish it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so I said to him, "Well, will the one that you have that connects on the left work in this car?" He goes, yeah, it'll work. I said, well, can I get that one? He goes, yeah, it's just not the one you're asking for. I said, well, I said, look. Can I start asking for it? Please? Yeah, I said, I said, I, well, that's what I said. I go, I want that one. So he, he goes, okay, I'll go get it. Makes a big show of the fact that it's an inconvenience yeah. to go get the other one. I'm either going to pay for something or pay for nothing. I'm choosing pay for something. Yes. Goes to put the battery in. Another guy goes, another guy in the shop goes, hey. You know that's not the battery he asked oh for, God. right? And the guy goes, I know, but he still wants it. Crazy, huh? It does <laughs> Apparently the same he thing. changed his mind. I couldn't yeah. believe it. So he gets done with the installation or whatever, right? And uh, and I, I they come over and no one says anything to me. And the guy goes, Okay, you're done. I said, Are we gonna test to make sure that this thing works? He made a big show. He goes, Oh, it's gonna work. I said, Well then what was the point in all that? So I turned the car on, off, drive around the block. It's fine. It's not been going for days. We're all good. But they it was were, just annoying. They were messing with you because you're funny looking. Yeah, man. I don't Who know. knows? But this brings me back to my <laughs> point. Really what's going on? This yeah. is what I mean. What's Everywhere yeah. we go, something weird like this happens. Yeah, but you have like, to understand that that's been my entire <laughs> life. 